Hi everyone and welcome to this overview of Harmony Wizard. I'm Lukas Ruschitzka and I'm thrilled to finally introduce Harmony Wizard to you. After more than two years of hard work, countless hours of creating concepts, developing and testing, I am excited to share the result with you. So what exactly is Harmony Wizard? Harmony Wizard is a Studio One add-on that offers a variety of chord tools designed for composing, songwriting, beat making and even film scoring. You can use it for any type of production where you work with MIDI or virtual instruments and where you use chords and harmonies. If you work a lot with MIDI and instrument parts, you'll probably be familiar with the action menu here in the note editor. It's where we find all the note editing functions such as transposing notes, changing the velocity and so on. Harmony Wizard adds a whole new section to these note editing functions. So if you install Harmony Wizard, this menu will now look like this. 16 brand new commands that are natively integrated in Studio One's note editor. There are actually even more commands in this add-on, but these 16 are the major features. There are functions to create new chords, you can add random chords, you can add transition chords, chords that make a transition from one chord to another, you can create chords from a melody, you can double the melody in intervals, you can invert chords, strum chords, you can find alternative chords for your existing chords, or you could create bass lines from your chords in the song. So as you can see, there's a lot of functionality and some of it is quite nerdy. For example, if you select strum chords, you'll get this dialog window and here you've got a couple of different options like the strum direction, there's two different modes for strumming, you can control the velocity and this is what the strumming looks like when you click OK. But yes, there's a lot of things that you can set up. So I thought, what if you don't want to mess around with all these options? What if you just want some easy to use presets? So that's why I created a toolbar for Harmony Wizard. A toolbar with different groups for different creative tasks. We've got insert, which is for inserting new chords into your plank sheet of paper when you start a new song. There's a whole section where you can create chords from melodies, or they can also be bass lines, from the scale, that's this setting here, from the chord track, you all know the chord track, or from fixed intervals, like an octave or a power chord. And I've also made presets for different types of chords, like triads or more advanced or jazzy chords. And if you really want to, you don't have to, but you can, you can open the dialog. All the entries with the three dots at the end are dialogs. And here you can create your own chords and intervals and use them as a preset. Then the next is for chord navigation and selection. I thought it might be cool to just be able to step through the different chords. Or to select voices, notes within chords. Select the highest note, the lowest note, the next voice, or if you have selected some single notes, you can also select the full chord. Then we have time and rhythm, strumming, I've already shown you that, chopping, which lets you split chords or notes. Then we have a couple of tools like distribute chords, which is great for putting freely recorded chords on the grid. These strum chords if you want to undo the strumming. Merge chords, that's really nice for strings and pads and orchestral stuff. Or chord legato, which can be really useful for making beats or for pads or drum loops. Then we have edit chord notes. This is if you've added some chords and you just don't like some of them and say Harmony Wizard, please fix them for me or suggest some other chords or make my existing chords more interesting or also very handy, create guitar chords like chords as a guitarist would play them. And then the last section is invert chords and that's very cool because you can go through your different chords and invert them, making them sound lower or higher by transposing the lowest or highest note 
which Harmony Wizard will do automatically for you with just one click. Or which I think is quite useful as well, the auto button will take all your chords and intelligently invert each chord so you get a nice voice leading. So this basically plays each chord as a pianist or a keyboard player would play it. Okay, so you can see there's a lot of new features. And to make sure you're not left alone with all this, there's a help button here in the toolbar that takes you to the online manual. Here you can click on any function directly on the website and you get a help text for each function. And you can also use this button to find out if there's a new update for Harmony Wizard available. So as you can see, I've tried to make this add-on as accessible and useful as possible for media experts and nerds, but also for people who are not so well versed in harmonies and music theory. For example, let's say you have a melody in your song and you want to add a second voice to this melody. In this case, you need to set your scale first. But what if you don't know the scale or key of your song? No problem, just press detect scale and Harmony Wizard will analyze your melody and automatically set the scale setting for you. And then you can just say add second voice with selected scale above melody and here's our second voice above the melody. Now let's create a little song from scratch. I've loaded some instruments, a pad, bass and some drums. And I've set my scale to D Dorian. Why Dorian? Well, Dorian is a lot like minor, but just a bit cooler than minor. Try it out, maybe you'll see what I mean. And now I'm gonna click on Insert Chords, then Insert Random Chords in Scale, and here I'm gonna click on 8 Random Triads. Triads are simply chords with 3 notes. And now Harmony Wizard will create 8 random chords for us that we could use as ideas for a new song. Okay, nice. But as you can see, those chords are jumping around. To make them sound more like a keyboard player would play them, you can just click on the Invert Chords Auto button and Harmony Wizard will automatically invert the chords to create a nice voice leading. Now there's one chord that I like to replace. So let's see if Harmony Wizard can suggest us an alternative chord. So I'll just select it and choose alternative chord and let Harmony Wizard find another chord again in the key of our song. Yes, I like that better, but let's try another alternative chord. Yes, that's quite nice. So you can see that Harmony Wizard can help you find alternative chords to your existing chords. And if there's a melody and you don't want to mess up the melody, you can select keep highest note. This does just that, finding chords, but keeping the highest note the same. There are a few other functions for transforming chords. You can make chords major or minor or change their voicings. But again, that's rather advanced and something I'll cover in another video. Now let's remove all the chords and create 8 chords again and see how they sound. Yeah, I like this chord progression, so let's make a little song with these chords. I copy the part here and the arrangement to the second track with another pad and arpeggios from my tie. Now we need a bass line. And here we have two options. We can create a bass line directly from these notes. Then I would select create bass line from selected notes. 
This will detect the root node from each chord and creates a baseline from it. Or what we could also do is to use the chord track and just drag the instrument part onto the chord track. That way we will also have an overview of what chords are in our song. And now I can switch to the bass track and in Harmony Wizard select create baseline from chord track. Let's copy it to the second bass track and listen to it. So that's how we can easily find new chords and ideas for our new song. Now to add some variation to our baseline, let's select Chop Chords. Chop Chords is also a really flexible tool and can also be used for bass lines. And here we can chop the chords with a fixed grid. Or I could use a predefined preset like Pop or Dance. But for now let's create a random pattern with quarter notes and eighth notes. And let's hit OK and listen to our bass pattern. I could show you so much more in this video, but I wanted to give you just a quick overview of the features in Harmony Wizard. Harmony Wizard is now available on the Studio One Scripts website. You can find the link in the description below to learn more or purchase the add-on. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of Harmony Wizard. Be sure to check it out and explore the other videos on the website. And thanks so much for watching.